Hello, I'm William with Motorsports Lane RVs. I'm going to give you a walk around on the StarCraft Launch 16RB today. Uh, this is a hybrid trailer, meaning that it has uh, canvas beds that come out each end. The back bed isn't out right now because I'm going to show you how easy that is to put out in just a second. But uh, we're going to walk around the outside and point out uh, what I think makes this trailer uh, a bit unique and, um, and one of our top selling trailers. First thing is the overall length on this trailer is 18 and a half feet from the very front of the tongue to the back. Um, so that just makes it really easy to work with. It's only seven feet wide, it's not eight feet wide. Again, just making it easy to go camping in. The weight on this trailer is only 3,000 pounds dry weight. So this is a trailer that can be towed by a lot of your midsize SUVs, um, some of your four-door Jeep Wranglers, FJ Cruiser, things like, uh, vehicles like that. Uh, makes it really popular. It's got all the bells and whistles that you'd want. Um, nice big tires on it with 15 inch rims. So it gets it up off the ground. And again, with that short length, this is gonna go pretty much anywhere you wanna take it. You've got a power awning on this with the LED light strip underneath, you can see that. The aluminum uh, uh, framing to this trailer, being you have the fiberglass exterior, it's actually two by two inch aluminum uh, studs to the trailer too. Helps make it light and makes it really strong. Got the outside speakers. Um, just a great little trailer. Sleeping capacity for up to seven, which I'll show you uh, when we go inside. Okay, so right here, we've got a uh, gas line, quick connect. That's nice feature there. Ties into the propane system. So if you want to uh, have a barbecue grill out here, a camp chef, something like that, you can tie right into that and you don't have to bring an extra propane bottle along with you. Um, you've got uh, really good storage right here. Magnetic catch to it. So you don't have to use the little uh, plastic claps, uh, claps that uh, just end up breaking. So real good storage there and easy access. You've got, uh, it's prepped for solar panel right here. You buy a portable solar panel, plug it in there. It's charging your batteries up. Here you see one of the beds out. Um, this material here is made uh, with the uh, uh, Aqua Shield material from StarCraft. They've been using it for years on their boats and RVs. Uh, it's, a, it's not just a canvas. Um, it comes with a seven year warranty and uh, does a real good job at, at letting the trailer uh, breathe instead of getting the moisture on the inside of this, the condensation. So it does have some breathability properties to it. Um, you've got uh, one propane tank up front, a tray for two batteries, four stabilizing jacks here that crank down. We've got a couple down in the back, I think, or one. Um, up front here, you've got the uh, outside shower with hot and cold water, and then your fresh water fill. This trailer holds uh, close to 30 gallons of fresh water, so that's sufficient for, uh, for going out for the weekend camping with the family. Uh, moving down the side here, you've got the hot water heater, which is a DSI hot water heater. You just flip a switch inside, and that lights it, so you don't have to come out here and try to uh, light it. You do all that from inside. Again, you see the nice big tires sitting up off the ground. You do have the black tank flush option on this trailer. So when you're draining your black tank right here, uh, you can hook a garden hose up to that and it will send water to the shower heads that are built into the black tank to clean it out really well. Got your 30 amp power cord here that stows right in the back here in its own little spot. And uh, full size spare tire. With these big tires like this, I think getting a flat tire is one of your least concerns with, uh, with your RV trip, a trailer like this. That, those are way overkill for a, a trailer this size. I'm gonna show you how the back end goes here. You unclip these. This is a one person job, pretty simple. This comes down and is supported by cables. So you don't have to worry about the bars underneath uh, adjusting those. You've got two cables here on each side, uh, supports up to 1100 pounds. So that's uh, not going to be an issue. So you put down like that, pull this skirt over the edge. There's no Velcroing needed to, or, or uh, bungee cords or anything to hold that down. This is just kind of the first layer of uh, defense to the weather. You can see on the back side here, this is all um, screwed down and sealed. So this just uh, helps keep the majority of the water off. And if this blows up in the wind or something, you're still uh, waterproof there. Okay, we'll head on inside and I'll show you how uh, you put the rest of that up. You have a bar here. This might be a little hard to see, but you grab the, uh, the main support here, clip that between the two screws so you know you're centered up. 
push that out, clip it up in the ceiling, and then this folds right down. I didn't get a view of the cables on each side. That's That makes this so easy to put up and down. I mean, literally, uh, what, 10, 15, 20 seconds to put each bed up and down. You can see you've got a light back here, LED lights everywhere through the trailer. And uh, now we can get a good look at the inside. So uh, sleeping for two up front, two in the dinette, one on the couch, two in the back. So seven uh, people uh, for a sleeping capacity on this, which is awesome. We've got the AC built in up top, uh, inside speakers, the nice pleated blinds here. So you can pull these down and just leave them wherever you want. Um, that's a real nice feature instead of the, the twist blinds that uh, tend to get bent and messed up over time. Uh, like I said, the dinette makes it into a bed. You just take the cushions here, put them on top of the table. When you put the table down, you've got uh, sleeping for two more people there. Um, another nice thing too with the, this hybrid in particular, if you go to uh, some of the national parks where they don't allow the soft sided uh, trailers like 10 trailers now, you can actually put up the front and the back, like if you go to Yellowstone, and then you can utilize this inside uh, sleeping area so you can still go camping there. Um, most places you go though, you're, you're able to put the, uh, the tent material out, so works pretty well. Got a uh, big refrigerator freezer combination here, freezer up top. Refrigerator, I believe that's a 3.2 cubic foot. You have a radio system here, which uh, when you open up this door here, you've got a spot to put a DVD in there, and that'll play through these cords right here. Uh, and then you can either mount a TV over here or just kind of sit up on the shelf if you want to do that. So it is set up that way. Lots of storage. You got cabinets pretty much all the way around the top. Good room there. Another cabinet over the fridge. And then you've got the bathroom. I'll show you that. Bathroom with its own sink. That's a nice feature there. A lot of times smaller trailers like this, they'll uh, leave out the, the sink in the, in the bathroom. Then the only other sink you have to wash your hands is uh, the kitchen sink. So anyway, that uh, pretty much wraps it up on this trailer. I'm sure I've missed a couple things, but uh, uh, feel free to drop on down to Motorsportsland and take another look at the trailer. Again, this is William. Be happy to help you out. Thank you for your time.